What's up dudes and dudettes, my name's Seth and we are back again for some uh, Minecraft Wincraft server. Beautifulness. So actually, I I've learned about this for quite a while, of course it didn't actually show up in the series. You can actually type slash armor, spelled with a U, so it's I guess the British or Canadian way of spelling it. And you can actually turn off your armor, which is great for someone like me, because almost every time that Windcraft, like when you put on new armor, it has to load a new texture onto your character. And unfortunately for the recording software that I use, it kind of messes things up a little bit and forces me to stop and start the recording. That's why I don't usually change my armor during recording. So anyways, if we hop off of our horse, you're going to see that I grinded up quite a bit. Hi. I, I grinded up quite a bit and now we are actually level 43. Uh, in the last episode, we were in that canyon area. I pretty much just grinded there and then over in the mine area. And uh, I'm going to try and get in the habit too. Uh, of showing you all uh, the map a little bit more during the series because it, it's unfortunate that we couldn't just press like a command and actually see it in game or something like that. But otherwise, for if you're wondering where we're at, we're here. So I'm going to have to remember to edit in the footage of that location. What we're going to do today is we're going to try and do this horse quest. Now, this is going to be great because well hello there you seem like just the type of adventurer who needs a trusty steed yes yes well normally i sell my horses for a decent profit but i actually need some help i'll make sure to give you one of our finest horses if you do bring me 12 wheat for our horses there are some merchants around ragney walking a bit couldn't hurt you yep great it's always fetch quests in this game dude seriously so what we're gonna hopefully do Hello, Crichton. Even though I'm actually in World 3, not 4. Okay. Uh, by the way, the reason that we don't have the mob with us again is because uh, usually during the times that I'm recording this, everybody's in bed for school and stuff, unfortunately. It's the only time that I actually have to record this. So, uh, at this point, I'm sure that I've played with a lot of you, but just because it's not on camera doesn't mean that we're not doing it. So, Ragni, I gotta actually take a look at the map and see where we're going. GG, it's actually just the starting town, and we're way up here. So, that's gonna be a bit tedious. Tedious for someone who doesn't have Ragni scrolls. Whoa! Oh! The server will restart in 10 minutes and we'll be back right after. Excuse me? I'm busy doing stuff. Where did our things go? There they are. All right, we got to do this like a speedrunner. Goodbye, souls. Where is this other thing? Where's the dude? Where are the merchants that he's talking about? He said there was a wheat merchant. I do remember there being one around here. I'm not exactly sure where. I really should have looked at the map because the map actually does a good job and shows you where they all are. I mean, I double check. Hi, sweetio. I'm going to double check and see. <laughs> Hope you aren't recording. Yes, I am. If these farmers actually sell it. Otherwise, it's a little bit of a tedious episode today. My goodness gracious. And that server restart is going to hit somewhere in the middle of this. Quest NPC. What about you? Wheat Merchant. Bowser. I'm a the best. Oh, great. We don't have enough stuff. How many did we need? Twelve? Four. <laughs> oh, it's tedious today. Where is it? Okay. Where's the horse one? Sister City. Something. 12 hourglass sand. That's somewhere else. Talk down moose. Something. Blah, blah, blah. Where are the other quests? 12 wheat. We do need 12 wheat. Well, unfortunately, our bank is way over in debtless, so it looks like I'm going to have to grind up a couple of these enemies just to get our hands on some emeralds. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. One emerald? Are you kidding me? What about the one that secretly is up there? Whee! Ugh. I'm scared. They're throwing stones at me. Why would they do this? Ah! We've done this once before, but I figured we should do it on camera just because it's like such a cool parkour spot. Ugh. Ugh. I kind of like the parkouring, but at the same time, it's like so freaky deaky when we have our speed boost. It actually makes me terrible. Ah! at the parkouring because we move like so quickly now oh great it's not even here yeah where 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 are we there we go so i want to check this last chest right over here yes see if we can get anything out of this one then yeah well we got a little bit more can we get enough to get 12 though i doubt it 
Nine! We're so close, dude. Seriously? Just give me a little bit more. Come on. <laughs> I half want to do it on camera, but I half want to make a cut. At the same time, I kind of like the fact that we got to clutch this out and speed run it before the servers come down. I'm actually going to head on over to the pig cave that's right over here. Oh, perfect. We just got our soul back. This is actually a fantastic place for grinding if you're a low level. Not like this guy, but like this, where we one-shot everything. I need all them chests and emeralds and stuff blocks. Did we get enough? We got four emeralds. Why do we only get one? There's some more emeralds. Give me thems. Give me them emeralds. <laughs> Look, we're gonna make him risk it to get the biscuit. He's gonna come down here and probably end up getting wrecked. But you know what? I think we're doing okay. I think we got everything that we came here to get, right? I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speedy or am I a monkey one or the same hello let me up oh, yep oh, oh, okay oh great we're not even gonna have enough to identify these weapons no how much is he gonna buy an unidentified helmet for four emeralds man what a jerk what about this one do we have enough yes I think we do I think we finally have enough which means we can teleport out of here. Normally for fetch quests and stuff like this, I would actually skip it, but like I said, personally, I find this kind of interesting. I like this rush. It kind of makes me very pumped and excited. At the same time too, I, I kind of always try to push my content in the direction, blah, 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 in the direction of, yay! Like, uh, you know, this is part of the game, so I don't see a reason to cut it. Except for grinding. That I will never do on camera because that's just awful. Why would we do that? Rah, let me waste my souls. I'll waste them all. Where are we? We're in the market? Why did it warp us to the market? Has it always done that? Maybe not. I don't know. We just got some free wool. GG. So you actually just head out of this north entrance here. Uh, I, I, we've already shown all of this stuff on camera before, uh, but I'm still going to treat it like anybody new that comes to the series. That's why I want to kind of start using the map a little bit more so that everyone else can start associating where we are, where we've been, and kind of map the place out in their minds. Because I myself personally, I actually studied the uh, map because I just love like exploration and stuff like that. So I've actually got a lot of it mapped out in this noggin, and I don't even need the map anymore. I know where everything is, except for Rat Town. <laughs> I totally got that messed up. I'm sure glad you came back and with the wheat. Yep, I did. Wonderful. Here's your promised horse. You know how to use them. Eh? Oh dear. <laughs> okay, let me tell you the basics. I know how to use a horse. You can train your horses by traveling with them. The higher the quality of the horse is the faster it can go. You can obtain better tiered horses by breeding them. Put two horse saddles in the crafting area in your inventory to do so. Be careful if you do, you could end up with a much worse horse. Anyways, here's a bunch of terrible experience. Hello, critter. We get to dance in the Windcraft server. <laughs> Hi, my friend. So let us, because I don't care, let's ask you actually risk this right now. Here's our normal horse, which is actually maxed out as far as its experience goes. Now we have a chance. Uh, we start with a brown horse, and then we have a chance of it going to a black horse, and then we have a less chance of it going to, uh, what's the next one? A chestnut horse, and then the fourth tier is actually the maxed out horse, which is a white horse. Extremely fast. Seriously. Lots of people are buying them for like 50 to 100 LE or something like that, which is like a million bucks to us. <gasps> black horse! Bowser! We actually did it! That is awesome! Yay! Not that we get to see it, because we have our beautiful undead horse. What? Hey, look who's there! See how the- Oh, have- <laughs> Crichton's got VIP, so we can totem pole this. Yes! This is great! Let's do it! So, what I want to do- Wow, this horse starts out super duper slow right now, because it's so low level. But as you level it up, it actually gets very, very fast, as you saw with our other horse. So, what we're gonna do right now, is we're gonna head on over, to the desert area and see if we can start a couple of the quests that are over there because a lot of them were like level 30, 35. Uh, I think one of them might have even been 40, maybe 45, but we're still gonna do it anyway. 
because I still very much like this area. Hopefully the servers aren't gonna come down too, too quick. We really gotta grind this horse. Also, here's the thing that I don't really know. Oh, it leveled up. Whee! See you later, critter. <laughs> so if we hold shift or press shift, I swapped my uh, sprint button, whoa, over to shift. Um, as far as I know, it doesn't actually make the horse speed up or anything like that. I think it's like that in vanilla Minecraft as well, where you just end up getting like the visual effect of the camera zooming out that you're faster, but you're not actually faster. No, Crichton, don't do it. Don't do it. It's a trap. So this is actually, you can spend emeralds and hire a mercenary. And I actually did it. I hired a mercenary and guess what happened? I went around the corner and he stayed right here. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't work, man. <laughs> so I don't necessarily know this entire town. Like I said, I know the locations, but I don't necessarily know where the town actually, like how everything's all set up and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do right now is actually before we end up getting any quests in the city over here, I think this is Al Muj. I just call it Desert Town or Desert City. It's beautiful. Hello. I'm sorry I do not have time to talk to you. What a scarce. Okay. Let's go see if we can start this quest over here with this guy that was cursed. I'm pretty sure we can because we explored like this area a little bit in the last episode. I think it was the last episode. It's been a, it's been a couple days since I played. Uh, you shouldn't have come here. Yes, we can do it. Awesome. Tell me more stuff. I am cursed. Everywhere I go, trouble starts. I decided to stay away from civilization where I could, couldn't cause any more trouble. Spider! It has all started with the discovery of the old tomb. The ground started shaking. I heard inhuman screams. Which is kind of a human scream anyway. The mummy's tomb that I accidentally woke up the mummy. He, he, he doesn't have a mummy, so he's scared of mummies. As something, something, a lot of mummies, you should go talk to him. Well, the server's about to restart anyway, so you know what? I'm gonna try and look up where Apter whatever is and uh, wait for the server to restart. All right, so while I'm waiting for the server to restart, this is where we ended up getting the quest. And to my surprise, it looks like there's actually only one quest in Al Muj over here. And then there's just this other quest up here. So uh, I don't know if this includes any quest characters outside of the starting quest character, like it says right here, starting quest point. So I'm actually gonna go back into the server because it just started right now and see if I can uh, check out if the coordinates are on the map. Otherwise I'm gonna try and explore the desert town and see if we can find this dude. Finally ended up finding him right over here by the entrance. Of course, it would be something like this. Hello, my friend. Also, we got Ender Force here and JZP something or rather is his username is the other guy. If I know about mummies, of course I know about mummies. I've spent a lifetime studying them. If you can reach their hidden tomb, I know what happened to Ormod and the way to remove the powerful curse would be to kill the mummy. The tomb is north from here. That's actually behind us. Be very careful, mummies aren't known to be weak, especially that one. It's demonic, something or other, blah, blah, blah. On top of that, their bandits are running around something. It took me longer than a month to get to 50 because I was busy all the time. Yes, Jay-Z Kai, that's his username. Also, Ender is like Mr. Mage, I think, in Trove, something like that. So uh, another thing too that we ended up doing I know where that mummy temple is. It's actually just over there. But before we end up doing that, I want to show I want to show these dudes this. Come over here, critter. Oh, this way, I mean. So as I was exploring and going all over the place searching for this guy, we totally messed up on the climby climby. Where's Mr. Ender? Hello, Ender. He found a better way around than my crazy way around. So if you come all the way over here. I think it's just over here. Yes, it is. This is that other quest starting NPC. Uh, I stumbled upon him two seconds ago while I was searching for the other guy. Where's Crichton? I wanted to show him this guy. 
Well, that's okay. Anyway, I started the quest over here. He's like looking to uh, replenish like the water source or something. So I just wanted to show you all this before I end up getting way too ahead of myself and going out of the way for the Mummy King area. Because if we actually just run all the way to the other side, come on, my friend. Where is it? No, not up there. Sorry about that, Ender. I'm a total troll when it comes to directions. You come over this way, and you remember that dude we were trying to talk to earlier? Ert. There we go. I'm sorry I did not have time to talk to you. Understanding is starting to dwindle something. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I am glad to have you on board. Then you will actually be useful. Our plants are withering fast. We need water and fertilizer to help them. I'll let the guard golems know that you can enter the bank. Don't make me regret this decision. Bring back 25 water bottle and 24 mashed insects as soon as possible. Now, although that is a very cool quest, we may not end up having time for it today because right now I want to start this mummy quest first. Going towards mummy tomb, don't worry. I know we kind of lost track of each other. We, uh, uh, into the market we go. I hope there's a way out of here. Where do we get out of here? This way? Nope. How do we get out of this market, man? Oh, there's a staircase I just noticed right over here. Thank goodness. Okay. So, this place is a little bit trickier to navigate than I thought. Oh, that's where Ender must have went. He must have taken the staircase right back up. So, the bank is actually right up there. But, I'm probably going the right way. Yeah, probably. Come over here. I'll give you a speed boost with me, brah. Uh, the lag is real. Is he keeping up? Yeah, he's got a speed boost. So the Mummy King area, as far as the map is concerned, I'm just kind of half looking at it on my second monitor. But you, you all saw like pictures of it and stuff like that. We're actually going in this direction of the desert. Yeah. I don't know if Ender's strong enough for this. I certainly hope he is. Whoa. This is always one of my favorite things in maps, dude. Mining colonies. I don't know why. I just always like really think that they're, they're like one of the coolest areas that you can ever end up exploring in a game. Unfortunately, we don't really have the time and we are playing a Minecraft game, which means that climbing uphill is a bit tedious. That's for sure. I wish I had my extra brown horse. I would have given it to Ender. So here's the mummy's tomb, dudes and dudettes. Let's see whether or not we can actually do this. The server is so laggy right now. Our abilities are getting really sticky. It's tough to actually like show it off. Uh, oh, screenshot because it's beautiful. Where Where's our comrades? Hello, quest NPC that doesn't have dialogue for some reason. If I was you, I wouldn't enter that tomb, but that's none of my business. As long as I have my one pink wool, everything is fine and you may enter. What a jerk, man! We need pink wool? Are you kidding me? That's like such a rare chance of getting. I had pink wool too. I dropped it on the ground because I thought, it's pink wool. This is garbage. Jeez. No wonder people were trying to buy pink wool. We need pink wool. GG. <laughs> Gonna do another quest. So we'll have to come back here later. Once we end up getting our hands on some pink wool. Oh, what? Huh? What's going on? I don't have pink wool for this guy, dudes. I could get some for you guys. Where at, yo? That would be great. All right. So you know what? I, I, by the way, to answer Crichton's question, as far as I know anyway, I'm not like an expert on it. I think you just have a very rare chance of seeing a pink sheep. I, I've seen them outside of uh, Deadless a couple times. And I mean, I got my hands on one. So, hey, whatever. Either way, it's in Rymac. Okay, GG, never mind. It's in a completely different town. So I'm going to try and organize all of this. And then we'll kind of come back when we actually have the proper wool. Now that is really, really cool. So we've actually got one of the server owners, Jumla right there. Sorry to interrupt, no, pro no problem. And TY, he, he actually gave me a YouTube tag 
in the server now. So that's actually really, really cool, dude. So I, I wanted to show you all this. Uh, then the game ended up crashing. I relogged and there he was just standing there being level 100. As far as I know, the max level is like 90 or something. He actually is watching the series. He's a fan. So, hey, Jamla. Hi, and thank you for the thank you for the YouTube-ness. Oh my goodness, free X points, yes. So that is the mine area, the abandoned mine right over there, and we're actually hopping right on our beautiful horse. I gave Ender a horse, as you saw with the little splice footage I threw in there, hopefully. Uh, as we come over here, this is the area that we were in the last episode. I just wanted to have it kind of on camera that you can get here easily from the mining area rather than taking the long route that we did last time. Come on, buddy. Let's do this. So this is Ramek. Jay-Z has been helpful because he reminded me, yes, that's right. Uh, I'm pretty sure we actually found this NPC the first time we came here, didn't we? And put an H on the we. Get <laughs> Traveling on horse is too bad in this area. Hello, Jay-Z. There he is. Is that where the NPC is? Yeah, it is. Whee! Ooh! Okay. So, that's awesome. Because, yes, I do remember that we ran into this NPC here. Maybe I actually did that off camera instead. Where is he? There he is. So, this guy charges 12 emerald blocks. Wow. Okay. Who else needs this? <laughs> Because they're pretty expensive, man. I mean, I get one for myself. One for Crichton. Um, what about Ender? Ender, could you even enter? Or was it not letting you? Because we're we're probably going to go a little bit over time today, dudes and dudettes. Because I do want to end up getting the uh, Mummy King area on camera. That'll be really, really cool. He wasn't able to enter it. Okay. Okay, sorry, dude. But I'll grab for Crichton. Okay, so now I just gotta trade Crichton, and then we gotta head all the way back over the desert back to the mummy's temple. So remember that high-tiered mercenary I said I hired? Here he is! <laughs> I just came to town and he was just here following me. Like what? What is going on, dude? <laughs> He's like, sup, brah? I just went to go get some bagels. Oh, look, there he's gone again. What a jerk, man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, well, anyway, uh, I'm just heading over to the mine area. Uh, by the way, hashtag confirmed. I think level 100 actually is the max. I, I can't actually, don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. I just know that Jay-Z is actually level 91 right now. So maybe 100 is the max. Maybe 90 was the max a long time ago or something. I know that all of you probably know a lot more about this than me because apparently the server is like years old, even though I'm only recently getting into it. So yeah, and unfortunately, Ender couldn't actually come with us today. He's dead. I killed him and stole his money so I could pay for the wool. <laughs> not really. Does Cry Cry have his wool? I got your wool, wool. You better not have gotten it yourself, brah. Ah! Spiders! They're eating me! Oh, that was not a spider. Hi, look at this guy. He looks really cool. So anyway, now we can finally, without further ado, not so fast adventurer, if you want to answer, you have to bring me something. What? Y'all doing the tomb too? Yes. Party. Invite. Inamic. There you go. Sheeps can drop those sometimes if you are lucky. Yep. That's how I got my pink wool that I dropped on the ground and then somebody sold it. I'm so salty about that. Yes. I tell you later. Crichton wasn't there when I was explaining all the YouTube rank stuff. Hi. Let us continue onward, my friends. Oh, this place is sick. Seriously, look at this. Hello. Follow the arrow. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh. The code is 635729. I don't know what this code is. Oh. I understand. I understand. The alphabet is the key. What? I don't know Minecraft enough to know that this bed is like the sixth item in crafting menus or something. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, well, you know what? I, I think it's only a process of elimination, right? Because it's going to cover one of every item. So 6, 3, and then we've got five different combinations of numbers. <laughs> what? Dude, I don't get it. Do I got to look online and find out what the numbers for the first letter of all these is? Is D6? Is that what it equates to? I think I get it. I'm going to look online. Uh, I Unfortunately, I can't really look up a walkthrough for something like this because it's, uh, yeah. So I'm going to look. I think that might be what it is because every letter has a number, right? Wait, six. Yeah, because it would be the sixth letter in the alphabet. So A, B, C, D. <laughs> Rip. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rack my brain at this and see if we can figure it out. Oh, okay, I get it. It's not as complicated as I thought. It's actually uh, just the first letter of each of these words we have to get in order. So the first one would be anvil, which of course is six. Where's six? That's button seven. I don't know what Crichton's doing. Six. And then the next one would be, what would that be? Emerald. Which emerald is uh, three. Yeah, thanks, Crichton. Thanks for that. Okay. Three. No, wait. Okay. Anvil. One, two, three, four, five, six. Anvil. Bed. B. C. D. Dirt. First one over here. A, B, C, D. E. Emerald. Four. F. Second one, I'm like thinking so hard here, seriously. E, F, G, H, is it just H? No, there's G. And then the last one is the hopper, which is number five. Yes, we did it! Sick, let's get out of here. <laughs> that took me a little long to figure out, but very, very cool, man. That is actually very, very sick, and I feel accomplished. Ah, get out of the way, spider webs. I feel very accomplished that we didn't have to look up a walkthrough or anything. Hello? Oh, these spiders, man. Too spooky for me. Where's the mummy king? Where's the mummy king? What's going on? Seriously? Yeah. We got it already, Ender. We got it. Ah! I hate the webs. I, I can't stand them. What the? Whoa. Be careful, we don't want to fall down. Just kidding, we could actually bounce right back up again. Hello? This is scary, I keep thinking this sand's gonna fall. Hello? I think people are behind me. I certainly hope that they are. Oh, this is cool, man. Oh, jeez! You scared me, dude! <laughs> it's the Mummy King! We're lagging so hard, dude! Oh. All right, um, that's some scary sounds. I think we won. Yeah, I think we won. Did we win? What was this? The mummy's bandage. Duh. Do we go back and trade it to the other guy? I think we do. Uh, same. Is that all we needed? Crichton needs it. I think anyway, so we gotta wait for this dude to respawn. Man, it's tedious today. <laughs> still cool, man. I still really dig it. I'm still so surprised that a dev actually like came around because I, I saw the comment on uh, like previous Windcraft videos, someone actually saying like, hey dude, I'm a dev, I'm actually, or an owner or whatever. Is he a dev? I don't know, but they said that they were into it. Don't turn around, Crichton. And yeah, so it's really cool that he actually is into it. Like, that's so neat. Or her. I'm not sure. Yes. Dead. Why did I get two? <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, you know what? We're going so overtime today, dudes and dudettes, that I'm going to... Uh, I guess you know what? Crichton, you kill it, then get its drop. I'ma finish this quest and end the episode. 
We can't even warp out of here. We gotta go to debtless. GG. Where? Hey! Where did put them? Where'd my scrolls go? There they are. They're on the ground. Ah! All right, fine. Let's do this. I'm gonna have to go and buy some more scrolls very soon. My goodness gracious. <laughs> and I didn't bring enough monies to get our hands on uh, more Almuj scrolls, unfortunately. I mean, I got all those emerald blocks in our inventory, but I don't think the game is smart enough to know. Uh, like, it, it's smart enough to use emerald blocks when trading for, like, other things, like the identifier and stuff like that. I don't think it works when we're trading for, like, smaller things like scrolls and stuff like that. So, a little bit tricky, but that's okay. I would have normally made a cut right here just so we could teleport over there, but hey, traveling's part of the experience anyways, and we can actually rocket ourselves right over this wall, because I've done that before with Joe, and it's it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. Do we got to start at this spot right here? Looks like it. All right, here we go. Drum roll, please. Nope. Too laggy. Too laggy. Let's try that again. Yeah, there it is. Got it. Okay. If once the vid's done, are you gonna go? Probably not. I'll probably grind up a little bit more. I'm too addicted to this game off camera. I, I spend as much time as I can on it, I should say, but uh, it's not as much as I would like. So, anyways, let's go over here. Hello, other person that finished the quest. Hi again. What are those bandages? Those are the mummy's bandages. You did it. What? My curse is finally lifted. I can now become the mummy. <laughs> And the cycle will repeat itself. I will eat your soul. Excuse me? What did he just say to me? Well, anyway, he gave us a bunch of stuff. And gave us an unidentified legendary chest plate. Well, that's sick. GG. Thank you very much, kind sir. I'm a villager. So, you know what? We're going to call it here for today's episode, dudes and dudettes. I know we went way over time today, but I did want to get this quest done, and it was still very exciting and very, very cool. So thanks so much for watching. Do not forget to duke in the like button. I very much appreciate it. Share, favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixasano, and stay epic, everybody. Oh,